we've been uh, we're waiting for the sump gasket so basically if you look on the caddy engine um, these are the uh, oil cooler it's the oil cooler matrix which is on the oil filter housing so basically these are in the wrong pointing the wrong way but the bonus again with the Volkswagen is I can undo that nut and pivot it to the right position and the old engine which we still have so you can see I'll try and come in from that it's angled probably another 60 degrees round so if I undo that nut I should be able to pivot it and um, we can uh, we can then um, put it in the right position so we'll have a go I've just cracked it off and um, should hopefully uh, you know undo it a little bit we don't want the seal should be good I've never had a problem but the bonus is a lot of this can be done in situ so it should be turning on its seal now a little bit tight but it's not too bad uh, we'll drop it down maybe a little bit there's the rubber you can see in there so what we do is I might put a bit of a a bit of oil on there just to make sure it spins just in there don't see it stop it from leaking and then um, we should be able to turn it once we drop it down a bit more get it out off of its mount because it's hitting the bolts on the back of the housing and then come round to where we need to be And then come up to where we need it to be, which is pretty much spot on there. And I'll tighten that back down. And that should be spot on. And then we can get our cooler hoses back down. And um, we can use the original hosing, see? So from there, there, and if you look, the water pump, We've got to get a flange for that because it has a clipped flange on the caddy. But yeah, that looks good if we go to the old one, I think. That's spot on.